I don't normally have anything to do with weed, Nick. But if it is what he says it is, I'll take it off him for three and a half grand a key. That is if it is what he says it is. I don't want to see it after a sample. I don't want to touch it after a sample. I'll leave you in the capable hands of Nathan here. He'll sort out the details. But just let me tell you one thing. If the milk turns out to be sour, I ain't the kind of pussy to drink it. Do you know what I mean? Rory Breaker. Rory? Yeah, I know Rory. He's not to be underestimated. He's a funny looking fucker, I know. But you've got to look past the hair and the cute cuddly thing. It's all a deceptive facade. A few nights ago, Rory's Roger Iron rusted. So he's gone down the battle cruiser to watch the end of a football game. No one's watching the custard, so he switches the channel over. A fat geezer's north opens and he wanders up and turns the lizer over. Now fuck off and watch it somewhere else. Rory knows Claret is imminent, but he doesn't want to miss the end of the game. So calm as a coma, picks up a fire extinguisher, walks straight past the jam rolls who are ready for action, and plonks it outside the entrance. He then orders an Aristotle of the most ping-pong tiddly in the nuclear sub and switches back to his footer. That's fucking it, says the geezer. That's fucking what, says Rory, and he gobs out a mouthful of booze covering fatty. He flicks a flaming match into his bird's nest and the geezer's lit up like a leaking gas pipe. Rory, unfazed, turns back to his game. His team's won too. 4-0. <laughs>